is live tonight in Cheektowaga with more on the suspect and the investigation. Danny? Yes, yeah, Scott and Mary Alice, over the past several hours this afternoon and this evening, we're starting to learn more about who Travis Green is, where he works, and what his family life is like. But the one basic question that nobody, even police, can even answer at this point is why did he show up at this specific Dollar General in Cheektowaga with more than 850 rounds of ammo, two rifles, and body armor? Police are still trying to figure that out and determine that as a course of their investigation. Uh, but they do say they believe he can came here with the intent to cause damage and possibly take lives. This was just uh, an incredible encounter. Cheek to Waga police say they've been training for active shooter scenarios since Columbine. So they were ready on Tuesday when Travis Green showed up at the Dollar General with enough ammo to kill dozens of people. Police got the call and were on scene within four minutes. And when Green took off running, an officer tackled him and took him into custody. It's a miracle that, that I'm not up here reading off the names of deceased. Quick police work and help from bystanders ended the threat without anybody dying. But now the investigation turns to Green himself. Not even 24 hours after the shooting, he stood in court with his heartbroken mother, Viola, still struggling to process the fact that her son could face 25 years in prison if he's convicted. Why? Why would you do that? I asked him, is he okay? He said, I'm all right. Through his mother, we learned Green's wife had recently separated from him. We also learned he'd been fired from a construction job two months ago. He just got fed up. He needs his peace right now. He needs his comfort. He needs his rest. And right now he's going to get it. And thank God he's still alive. In court, he told the judge he now works in packaging at a manufacturer named Certainteed in Buffalo, but he is not technically employed by Certainteed. The company says he's employed by a temp agency named SPS Temporaries Incorporated, which helps staff their facility. That temp agency declined comment. We've also confirmed that Green was fired from another construction job in Clarence back in 2011. These details give us a picture into his life, but not a picture into his motive. Had it not been for these private citizens, had it not been for the rapid response of our officers, there's no telling where this would have gone. And Green's mother told us she believes that her son bought his firearms legally, but that is uh, up to the investigation by the ATF and federal agents to determine if that is true. Uh, they're going to be doing the background check on those weapons. Uh, but as for the 53-year-old victim, the man from Cheektowaga who was grazed by a bullet here at the Dollar General yesterday, we don't have an update on his situation. Uh, we can just tell you it is a 53-year-old man uh, from Cheektowaga, according to police. Reporting live here in Cheektowaga, I'm Danny Spiewak, Channel 2 News.